Now Rugby Union and Scotland open their Six Nations campaign in Dublin against Ireland on Sunday. The Scots have become known as slow starters. They haven't won their opening Six Nations game since 2006. Stuart Cameron looks ahead to that and he's got all the borders. Rugby News. There are six borderers in the squad, including five starting. Captain Kelly Brown amongst them, scrum half Greg Laidlaw, Alex Dunbar, Ross Ford and fullback Stuart Hogg, seen here scoring for Scotland A just two years ago against England Saxons at Netherdale. The boy's certainly done well since then. The matches on Sunday will bring you highlights of that on Monday here on ITV Border. Last week's big clash of the Titans between Gala and Melrose ended with a Melrose win and they did a premiership double on their neighbours to take them back to the top of the table. Plenty of rugby to be played as the season reaches the business end and Melrose welcomes Stirling County to the Greenyards tomorrow for a two o'clock kick-off and that win over Gala will mean nothing if they can't back it up with a win. Blair Hutchison and Graham Dodds come back into the starting lineup with Gary Holborn. As you can see, it's still pretty tight at the top and tight at the bottom as well. Hoyk have a huge game at home to air and a win at Mansfield Park will give them breathing space from the relegation zone. Tomorrow, one of their two scrum halves, Jake Evans, will start at fullback in the absence of the injured Neil Rennick and John Coots, who's unavailable. Gala have lost their last three games, something they haven't done for a few seasons, so their home match against Edinburgh Ackies tomorrow is vital to get them back on track. Last week, all games involving our three borders teams were wiped out in the National League. This week, Selkirk visit bigger to try and keep their promotion hopes alive. Kelso are at home to GHA and Peebles are on the road to play Hillhead Jordan Hill. Jed Forrest are top of the table in Championship B and a win against Aberdeenshire with a bonus point will keep them in pole position. Hoyt YM could do Jed a favour by taking points off promotion candidates How of Fife in their home game tomorrow. Stuart Cameron, ITV News. Let's get more on the Six Nations. As you've heard, Scotland begin their 2014 campaign with a tough trip to Ireland. Scotland captain Kelly Brown's an Earlston High School old boy and he's been speaking about his team's prospects in this year's competition. I think it's very exciting. We finished third last year, which is the highest we've finished in quite a number of years. So that's obviously great, but we're aware that we need to keep on learning and keep on improving. England's Cumbrian head coach Stuart Lancaster is about to begin his third Six Nations campaign. England start with a game away to France in Paris tomorrow tea time. Lancaster has been credited with reviving the England team since he took over and he certainly believes that his players are moving in the right direction. You learn from every game you play, you learn from the wins, you probably learn more from the losses. But it all counts and nothing comes come Paris, you know what I mean? The players have to be able to deliver under pressure. We have to give them the environment and the framework to allow them to do that. Um, uh, and on the day, the Six Nations are the Six Nations. And you know that um, one of the beauties of it is its unpredictability. 